Oh, this one's a scary one. No! Okay, so this one, go to bed. Gosh, I looked at this one. This one looks terrifying. Oh, I don't like it. 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 Don't like it. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's get into it. Situation one, subject A. So what? Go to bed. Okay. Go to bed. Go to bed. Okay. Can I get aware of my surroundings? <sighs> Please. Oh, who turned off my light? Was that me? I don't sleep with the lights off. Did you lock your front door? No. Yes. Shoot, if I said no, would I have gone check? failed someone got in ain't no way ain't no way okay so let's go lock our door oh that is my biggest fear of someone coming into my house when i sleep oh we can explore i don't know i thought the situation would just go to bed okay so let's take a look around close that window someone out there close this window now can we lock it i don't it's not really much about locking windows Okay, we're checking everything. TV? Has the TV locked? What is that? Is that our security system? Okay, lock this door. Okay, well that's a lock. That is a freaking lock. Wow. He is keeping it secure. Can we sleep with a knife under our bed, please? <gasps> we took him. Can I crouch? No, no crouching. No crouching allowed in here. Okay. All right, everything looks secured. Nothing I could do with this window? No. Okay. Uh, that everything looks good. All right, let's close our door. I sleep with the door open. I don't know. I mean, sleeping with the door closed maybe feel safe. Like when I'm with, at someone's house, I'll sleep with the door closed, but like at my own home, I sleep with it like open. I want to like know what's happening. Okay, turn off the light. Okay. Did I do it? That's so creepy. Did you lock the front door? Yes. Did you close the window? Yes. Oh my gosh. Did you arm the security home system? Yes. Did you hide the knife? Yes. Oh my gosh, he could have killed me. <gasps> well done. No one will get in. Oh, that's terrifying. No, this is about someone breaking in. I didn't think about that. Go to bed. Go to bed. Go to bed. Alright. Okay, so we just have to... I'm not on a timer, am I? Hurry up. Speed run it. Lock the door. Arm the system. Uh, close the window. Anything there? No. Radiator? No. Nothing there. Nothing there. What is this hatch? Why do I have a hatch in my house? Why is my house so dirty? I must have just moved in. Maybe that's why. I mean, I don't have my TV on boxes. Hide the knives. Uh, water. No, no, no. Nothing there. I'm interacting with everything I possibly can because I do not want to mess this up. Close my door. I'm assuming I have to close the door because if he just breaks in and he sees me, maybe he'll just, like, beeline for me immediately. Alright. Everything looks good. Is this just it? Is this, is this just, like, a repeat but just in a different scenario? Is the house secure? Oh, yes. Are you sure? Yeah. Good. Oh, this sucks. This, huh? 
Where am I? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, why is there blood everywhere? Can I open the door? Hello? Hello? Oh, what on earth? There's bodies there. I need to leave now. Are you kidding me? What is it? What is all this? That's a dead body. That is a dead body. Excuse me. Sorry. Because I. No, I hate it. No, I hate it. No, I hate it. I hate it. Please. 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 Oh my gosh, what? I need to find a way out. Oh, <gasps> that was the hatch. That was the hatch. Locked. It's locked. I need it. No, it, no. Oh gosh, I need a code. Where am I keeping a code? Do I want to enter here? I can't enter there. Okay. Code, a code, a code? What kind of code? Do I have to go back down? Shut I should check for the alarm before trying it. So we were a killer. And we had it secure. Oh my gosh. So we kidnapped bodies and all that. And we were just going to bed. Do I have to go back down? No. I can't go back down. A code? What would the code be? Oh my gosh, okay. Alright, maybe I can cut the wire with something. Oh, but I took the knives! Oh! They put away anything useful. There's no way out. Maybe back downstairs? Oh no! Why aren't you in bed? <laughs> Go to bed. Oh, <laughs> that was so creepy! That was so creepy! Oh my gosh, I hated that! <laughs> oh, that one got me sweating! I ain't gonna lie, that one got me sweating! <laughs> oh my gosh, that was great, but oh, I hated it! Okay, we already- oh! Discover my body. Oh! This one I found today, actually. That is so tiny. Oh, it's like a phone game. I don't like these noises. I don't like these noises at all. In the year 2040, human beings look for increasingly- Okay. Distrusting previous institutions that supposedly brought people together in common. Lonely people look to technology and science for answers. Yeah, that's kind of like today. One such, a new technology is a physically powerful lab synthesized fungi. You, a medical student at the local university, have been brought in to study its application to a human host. Bro, okay, all right, hold on, hold on, hold on. <sighs> Need to calm down, all right? Music's got me a little tense already. Ah, you must be the new student Dr. Morrison was speaking of. I hear you are, you are re quite bright. Have you ever studied a physical trans transbolitution flowering before? What? I see. Well, you're in for quite a treat. I have assisted with many flowerings before. However, this is my first time in the hot seat. This facility is equipped with a neuron neutron coronal scanner. You'll be able to view my transformation and its various effects on my bodily system. Just navigate the eye, eye, the icon over my body and scan for info points to click on. My brain's BRCA area has been linked to a digital readout. So even when I am at the point where I am, beyond human speech, I will be able to communicate. What? Well, please begin your examination. Is this the eye icon? Oh, it's just following me. Oh. Oh, I'm looking at your bits. Is this your body? Oh, that's your chest. Okay. I mean, am I looking for anything in particular here? I'm, I'm looking for some blooming. I'm gonna avoid that little area you got going on there. Oh, you're covering it with your hands. Thank you. 
Okay. Uh, why is there a face down there? Huh? We want to talk about why there's a face down there? Huh? No, we don't want to talk about that. Okay. Okay, so let's scan. Scan this thing. Scan it. Oh, we found something. Aha! You discovered the injection site. Oh, that's what's growing out of you? This is what's growing out of you? Two weeks ago, Dr. Morrison took a bone-deep needle to my right shin. Dude, this is making my stomach actually tighten. It hurt like hell. However, what he injected was worth its weight in gold. It was a skin graft of a successful PTB flowering. What's that? It kind of looks like a face. All well, the PTB organism is a physical organism. It's a physical manifestation draws from a shared pool. All of its denizens, traumas, fears, dreams. I believe that it's my mother's face on my shin. Ooh, I would hate that. Oh, how I miss her. But enough about me. Please continue the examination. Okay, I don't want to anymore. That's your mama. Um, okay, so this is topical. We can look at skeletal. Whoa, that is brain. Oh, oops. Ooh, whoa, whoa, hold on. All right, all right. We're covered. We're covered. Okay, as long as we're covered. Yeah, what is this? Oh, look at his, <laughs> his face. is a freaking skull. Ah, you discovered my my rotting bones? Yes, the rot has set in, certainly. It itches like the devil. But soft bones are required for the PTB to do its work. I am hating this. This is just grossing me out more than scaring me. Human body was never intended to experience a flowering. In the process, one is contorted physically, f psychically, psychic, yeah, cannot say psychically, psych, and physically. Soft rotting bones are pliable enough to assume a flowering shape. Again, though, very painful stuff. When I begin to scream, I expect you to keep your cool, though. <laughs> what? This should, uh, this should all be academic to you. Are you getting any class credit for this, by the way? Gosh, I hope so. I hope I can graduate in in masters through all this. I see. Well, please continue. All right. Last thing we didn't check was nervous. Is that your brain? Is that your brain up there? What's going on up here? What is this? No, that's not your brain. That's your freaking neck. What is that? What it? What is that? Ah, you've discovered the primordial inhibitor. This is a device implanted in my brainstem, which helps to undo certain evolutionary safeguards against operations like that. It limits bodily and mental reactivity to meta-existential stimuli. In not too many words, the flowering is an evolutionary aber aberration, one which requires some retooling of our formation of metal concepts. For instance, one who has flowered does not experience the human idea of time. Are these guys like living forever? But if I tried and apprehended this with my regular old monkey mind, I would go quite insane. But anyways, please go on, discover, explore. I did it all. Aha, according to the connect concentration of the PTB in my blood, I will begin f the flowering process very soon. Quick, give me your wallet to buy down on? What? Wow, that hurt. Sorry, I seem to have a bit down too hard and broken a couple teeth. Give me a moment to spit them out. What? Now then, as you can see by my face, I am midway through the flowering process. Hurrah! I can feel the inkling of a pan-psychic connection. My body has experienced amazing and terrible growth. See for yourself. What? What? You turned into a potato! Oh my gosh, you're just a potato now. Is this what you wanted to be, a potato? You could have done this easily. Without the... What? That thing grew. That looks like a jellyfish. That looks like a man of war. Where are your legs? You lost your legs. You literally are just turning into a potato, aren't you? Oh. Oh. OK. 
Okay, let's... Let's scan this thing. Boop. Aha! Uh -huh. You've discovered that my hands have fallen off. What? Well, I suppose I'll never play the violin again. Haha. <laughs> Joking aside, this is pretty much to be expected. Part of the primordial inhibitor is to disassociate brain and hand connectedness. As a result of this, hands fall off. As they are merely vestigial baggage. Standing in the way of superior evolution. This is superior? If this is superior, I don't want it. I'm sorry, I just briefly had a bit of an ego death there for a moment. Ego death? I can feel my thoughts intertwine with the rhizomatic group mind. Please continue. What? Okay. Alright, what's going on over here? You, like, lost all your limbs. Aha. Uh -huh. You've discovered my bone growths. As I was saying about the dramatic changes a, a PTB flowering incurs, well now, at bone deep level, my skeletal system is basically sponge cake. But look closer! My bone fragments have begun to reassemble into a complicated, if fragile latticework of water wafer thin psychic receptors. Some of the bones are poking out of my skin. I knew that. I felt that. Oh, what is wrong with you? Please go on. Why? This is growing like crazy though. This is like, this is like vibing, but stuff down here is all blue now. Uh, I mean, what? Are we scanning the fa- Oh, here we go. Aha! You found it. You've discovered my new mines? To the extent that the brain is a mine, that is. We'll leave that to the philosophers. As my own mind brain disintegrates into the group mind, what remains of my body becomes a small distribution of other flowering mind brains. As we speak, I am flooded with powerful memories that are not my own. I feel, well, it's hard to even use the word I anymore. Even to distinguish ourselves from our timeless unity seems wrong. I feel infinite pleasures, pleasure as well as infinite pain. Is this what death is? Ah, I see we are at the final stages. I complete the flowering. Infinite pleasure, pain, death. I'm so happy! Yay! I'm so happy! Everything is awesome! Everything is cool when you're part of a team. Everything is awesome! That was wild. <laughs> that was a wild mental ride. Oh my gosh! Wow! Please get me out of there. Oh my... Oh my gosh. That was disgusting. I would... Who would want that? You just turn it... You turn it to a potato and then you blossom into... Nothing. Wow, okay. 